For some time now, the bodies which regulate the veterinary profession around the world have been considering the impact of information technology and the extent to which it may be necessary to amend or update regulations relating to the established VCPR, that's the veterinary client patient relationship. That's of course a matter for them. In the meantime, the question for practice owners and managers is what useful technology is available now? What benefits could it offer for animal owners and veterinary practices? And how could it be used as a business tool within the existing professional codes of conduct? The question for you and your practice is, is it worth investigating? Aaron Smiley certainly thinks it is. Aaron is a vet and he's chief of staff of two pet practices in the United States and he's an author of an article entitled Give It a Try, originally published in, the, in today's veterinary business. Nineteen months ago Aaron took the plunge and implemented a telemedicine app in his practices. As a result he reports that his clients are more satisfied, he can provide better care for more animals, it strengthened the practice client patient bond and it's increased practice revenue. There are a number of specific uh, veterinary specific apps available online and I came across one recently featured in Vet Times here in the UK. It's called the Virtual Vet Group and offers what's described as your own branded mobile app with a back end and network designed to make com communication between vets and pet owners simple and secure. If you think that telemedicine could possibly be a resource worth investigating for your practice, Aaron recommends that you follow the current guide to professional conduct appropriate for your part of the world. Ensure that the technology you select maintains client and patient confidentiality. Start by learning how to use the app by trying it out with just a few specific clients. Clearly define client and practice expectations, involve the whole practice team and charge appropriately. Aaron suggests, for example, a telehealth consultation charge of 60% of your standard consulting charge. Could, med could telemedicine play a part in the future for your practice? I don't know. But I'm quite sure that if I was involved in owning or managing a practice now, I would do what Aaron suggests and give it a try. See you next time.